Hello everyone. Today we are going to start with the squares and the square root and deal with the properties of square numbers. And very first property is the number which has 2, 3, 7 or 8 at the unit place can never be the square number. Here we get this property. So the number which has 2, 3, 7 or 8 at its unit place can never be a square number. Here we see that if we take the square of 1, we get 1. If we take the square of 2, we get 4. The square of 3 is 9. 4 is 16. 5 is 25. 6 we are having 36. In case of 7, we have 49. 8, 64, 9, 81, and 10, we have 100. That is the two zeros at the last. So we see we are having either 1, 4, 9, 6, 5, or two zeros at the last. And we are not having anywhere 2, 3, 7 or 8. Hence, whenever we get these four numbers, then that can't be a square number. Next property is the number ending with odd number of zeros can never be a square number. This means that if the number of zeros at the last is odd, like it is having three zeros at the last, like in thousand, then it can't be a square number so 100 10000 they all are they all are a square number or can be a square number if it is having even number of zeros at the last then the next property is the square of even number is always even number and the square of odd number is always a odd number this means that if you are going to take the square of any even number your answer will be also again a even number in case of the odd you will be get an odd number the next property the sum of first n odd natural number the sum of first n odd natural numbers means that it will start from 1 that is 1 3 5 7 and so on till where it can be so you have to just count the numbers which you have taken suppose we are taking to 5 so 1 3 and 5 so there are only 3 so you have to just you have to just take the number of terms and make a square of that you there is no need to find the sum of those numbers that's all from the property portion now let's see exercise 3.2 now let's go for the question number two here is the question what will be the unit digit of the squares of the given following numbers you have to just find the unit digit of the squares when we are going to find the square of these all so to get the unit digit we have to just see the unit digit of this one and here we are having one as a unit digit so whenever we are going to make the square of one you'll be getting one as the number so the unit digit of this square will also be one then here we are having two so the two square is four so whenever we are going to find the square of this whole number you'll be going to get the unit digit as four now here we are having three so the square will be nine then four so the square of 4 is 16 and the unit digit of 16 is 6 so you will be getting the unit digit as 6 now let's see question number 3 here you have to just give the reason why the given number is not a perfect square here we have took two questions so for this question as the unit digit is 7 so here as the unit digit is 7 therefore it can't be a perfect square and similarly for this one as the unit is it is 3 it can't be a perfect square now let's see question number 4 here the square of which of the following number would be an odd number or an even number and we have to give the region also so here we have taken two numbers as you see this is an odd number having three at the last so as this is 
a odd number its square will also be a odd number so as it is an odd number its square will also be a odd number and similarly as it is an even number its square will also be a even number now in question number 5 we have to find the natural numbers which lies between the squares of the given two numbers so here we have to find the number of natural numbers which lies between the square of the given numbers and the first one is 12 and 13 so the number of natural numbers lying between 12 square and 13 square is equals to 13 square minus 12 square and then minus 1 we are going to subtract one because when we directly uh, subtract we include the last number not uh, but we have to just remove that number also so we are going to subtract one to remove that number let's see one more part that is 90 and 91 and that is equals to 91 square minus 90 square and whole to the power uh, and whole then minus 1 we solve it and then we get 180 as the answer then in question number 6 we have to find the sum of the given odd numbers without adding them here we are having the first part 1 3 5 7 9 11 13 and 15 you have to find the sum of all so we have to just count the numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 this means it will be 8 square and that is equals to 64 now let's see the second part in the second part we are having till 29 so the number of digits are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 14 and 15 so it will be 15 square and that is equals to 2 2 5 now let's see question number 7 here we have to express 64 as the sum of 8 odd numbers for that we subtract 64 by 1 then we continue with the other odd numbers like we have got 63 over here then the next time we are going to subtract it by 3 after 3 we will go for 5 then 7 and we will continue till we get 0 and finally we get the 0 over here and as we see we have subtracted 8 times so 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 and 8 therefore it can be written as as 8 odd number the sum of 8 odd numbers now let's see the second part also here we have to represent 121 as a sum of 11 odd numbers we'll be just continuing as we have did over here from the 1 to till we are getting 0 and here we have got 0 when we last multiplied by 21 we've started by 1 3 5 7 9 and continued till 21 and we can see we have used 11 numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 8 9 10 and 11 so it can be written as here we have represented 121 as a sum of 11 odd numbers this is also a way to check whether the number is a perfect square or not by the repeated subtraction method if we didn't get zero at the last then in that cases it is not a perfect square and if you are getting a zero at the last then it is a perfect square That's all from this video. Thank you.